What's up, guys? Desert B here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Are we ready for the water temple? Here we go. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Zelda! Wait, I've played this one already, and I don't remember that. <laughs> Good lord. Are you all right? Yeah. Emotionally? I don't know. I guess you can't just go back up here, can you, Zelda? You can carry me, I guess. Okay. The music does have a bit of a... Almost like a creepy sort of sound to it, but I definitely hear hints of the Ocarina of Time water temple in this one. Oh. Multi-ton boulder there. No big deal. No big deal. Three up on the air. All right. <laughs> Very strange bosses in this game. Oh boy, run for Zelda. Okay, no time for exploring, I guess. No, I don't. I guess yeah, we'll just go this way. Is are my fast fins on? Yeah, they are. Feeling like they uh, aren't, but okay, good. let go of the box. I guess there's really nothing to to miss here, right? Could really use that um, dolphin kick badge from Mario Wonder. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped into my head. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we're safe. We've got fish, we've got crabs, and you know what? Um, <laughs> that's kind of a weird sentence. And I was gonna say an even weirder sentence, but scratch that idea. <laughs> oh. You take that, I'll take that. And off to rocks. I just, I feel like the crabs are pretty effective, honestly, those sharp uh, pause. I guess we'll just go ahead and get the rupee for it, right? Okay, so... Oops. Let's check the map out here in a second. Okay, lots of fast travels. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Oh, wait a minute. How did I do that? Switch maps. Oh, that was weird. I thought I pressed the up. Um, uh, I guess I haven't gotten the actual map yet, so I guess that there's actually really nothing to see in there. Okay, now, this is the main mechanic of the temple. Now... Oh, you can't bind to these? Okay. Let's flood this place. So, not much use to us yet. But, um, let's explore. I don't think it matters which way you go first, so... I'm feeling this way. Back into the water. That's uh, an angler too. They're providing light, so I'm not too not too concerned about them. Now this is this is new, right? Let me get my shark out. What? Get him! Get him! Yeah, this is a new guy. The Bayou Bio Deku Baba. Dead end. I do want to explore just a little bit. Make sure we're not missing anything. And it's all weird and glowy up here, you know? Ah! That was close. Close call. Ooh. Um, let me get some air. I feel like... 
Oh, yeah, chest. Is that another silver? Wow, we got a silver last episode, too. I wasn't expecting to get two so close together. That's, that really is, though. I do appreciate the um, dungeons just really loading you up with cash. Not only is it a pretty classic thing for Zelda games, it feels like you just, like, you go in with an empty wallet and you come out maxed. And, uh, but, you know, by the time you're done with a the dungeon, there's always stuff to buy. There's new areas to explore. Oceans to replenish. Okay, so we're already at another uh, switch. I do feel like the dungeons in this game go, they are very entertaining and I really love the classic approach and the puzzles and everything to them, but they just go so smooth. And I'm saying that as a complete positive thing. It's like really satisfying to play through them. Okay, so we're getting a little bit more water height there. And I love the shortcut. So this is where we just were. Woohoo! Yeah, you hear that? That right there. That's where I'm hearing the Ocarina of Time water temple. Ah. Oh, I did it anyways. Zelda, I'm stuck! Jeez. Okay, I need a floaty or water. I actually kind of forgot about the water. Now, do I have the needle fly? I don't know, but I do have... What do I have? I've got this thing. Who do you think is more effective? Wow, okay. Mothra. Now, I don't know. Hold on, let me go back up. I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to go here. Oh, chest, obviously. Oh, there's our map. Okay, so now I can... I'll be able to actually see more detail. Let's see which way... Let's check the map out. So I just came from there. We've got a chest here, and then it looks like a stairwell. Now, what kind of dangers? Oh, sharks. Oh, lots of sharks. Oh, okay, and the uh, these Octoroks. Oh, you know what? Um, This, I think, would be a great opportunity for that. Not that. And then I need a, I need a platform. Oh, or actually the ice. I mean, I don't know why I keep calling this thing ice. That's not the first time that's happened. Let me see if I can reach this guy. Nice. Okay, and then this guy. Ooh. Okay, feeling pretty good about that. Now, what about the guys in the water? It's gonna have to be shark, right? Yeah, he's a beached. Oh, there he is. Can't tell what's happening down there. Two against one. Really not fair. I really can't see. Ooh, ooh, okay, my guy hasn't taken out either of them yet. There goes one. Is that a fiver? Okay. We'll dive into shark infested water for fives. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think I think your job isn't quite done yet. Cool. And another five. I'll take it. What even is Zelda's wallet limit in this game? I haven't seen a limit yet. 
ice. I mean, gosh, water? Water. This needle fly here is... Well, it looks like it's in the fence or something. Ooh! Creeps! Wow, and 50. And then... Here's that platform. Hold on, let me just take a look around here. Oh, I've got to go across the tightrope, it seems. So, let me actually do another water. <laughs> do I just brave it? Uh... Yeah, the... Nice. Being able to aim, or rather, um, what do you what do you call this? Lock target. Yeah. Perfection. Okie dokie. Easy does it, Zelda. Whew. Very smooth so far. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's a room of crabs. Let me let me get my own out. Crab, crab. Where's my crab? How many crabs can I make? Oh, I can make a lot. Pretty cheap. Ow! Get him. Get down there. Oh, I guess they can only kind of go... <laughs> I guess they really only go sideways. That's... That makes sense. Okay. We got some kale. Should we get the rupee? Or is it kelp? I think it's kelp. And already at another switch. See what I mean? It's just very smooth. Now, does this get high enough? It's got it's got to get high enough for the next level because I don't think I have anywhere else to go. Yeah. So smooth. I wish that you could learn these little guys as a, an echo. They go fit right in with my statue collection that I got from the last temple. Okie dokie. Oh, boy. There's another Octorok. I think, though, they're not really... Oh, wait! Um... Whoa! Hold on! What do I need here? That's that's kind of tall, isn't it? Ah! Oh, no! Oh, my gosh! Oh, this is what I need. Jump, oh, Zelda. Okay, that's a little bit stressful. And we have tech tides, and this is my exit. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, loving the bow. Oh, I was waiting for a cutscene or something. Oh, there's another one. Oh. Hitting the button, but not in sword fighter form. Oh, okay, okay. Um, here's one. Ow! Should I? Can I use the bow underwater? Oh, okay. That was asking too much, I guess. So what do I do with this one? Just swim over to it? Crap. Oh, I didn't expect that to actually work. But I think this will. Oh, if only. Hmm. 
I'm out of juice. Oh, well, let's do some water. Why? Oh, because the water's moving. <laughs> ah. Mm, okay, I guess I can't reach that. So, what am I gonna do? Let me see if I can spawn a bird or something. What about Mothra? Mothula. And there's one over there. So, I'm thinking... Bed? Oh, and then we've got an armadillo for this scenario. Or, you know, you could burn him. Wow, look at all the loot! Hold on, I think I want that stuff. For, uh, the next time I need... smoothies. I haven't really needed smoothies that have, um... What would you call it? Like, elemental abilities yet. We're going back to... back to the sea urchin. If only he would land on it. Oh, that actually worked. Oh, that works. Okay, so let me just do this. Well, what is the... what's the life little line on these guys? Seems... Ooh! Oh, I keep forgetting that my own, um... Mmm, echoes don't hurt me. Because I was all trying to avoid them, but... They don't damage me. Uh-oh. I don't really know what else would work very well in those tektites. I feel like any other enemy would have a tough time targeting them because they hop around so much. Also, I am trying to not use the same echoes over and over again. All right, one more. Cool. All right. Thank you for sparing me from the river of death. I need some energy. I'm not going to drink a potion, but... Ooh, okay, I do have some. But I know that I'm going to need some energy. Too bad, um... Is there going to be a bed later on that heals your energy bar? That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, that. Can't do anything about that. Let me check over here first. We got a lot of area to cover. All right, I'll take it. Ooh, another golden egg. Can't go up. Let me try this way. Oh boy, um... I need a bomb fish and hopefully some air soon. <gasps> Where's my health bar? Oh my gosh, oh, this is air, okay. <laughs> wow! Wait, is there no mini boss in this game? I mean, game, in this dungeon? Okay, there's that guy. We'll pass right by these guys. What's this way? What is the purpose? Do I need to go this way? I don't know, but let me get air. 
Am I not just going in a big circle? Yeah, this is just a big circle. And then we have... Oh, these in case you need air. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no! Um... Hmm. Oh, I don't have any sword fighter juice. So... You take that. Uh... <gasps> Wait, I need air! Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah, let me lure him out of my corner. And refill on the air. Okay. <gasps> Jeez. Okay. We're clear. There's air. Hmm. Ah! Oh, no! What am I gonna do? I guess shark. <laughs> They're gonna break my crate. Oh, I can make more crates. Never mind. <laughs> I forget about that. Give me another shark. Give me all of this energy, too. I'm gonna try to be more sparing with the... with the energies. At least for the next, like, 30 minutes. Well, get down there, shark! What's your problem? Why can't he get down there? There he goes. That was weird. It's like he didn't want to dive. Okay. Oh, um, we have... Babas. Well... I have a shark. So, how about that? Can I, um... Oh, you can treat him just like the other guys. Teamwork! Check it out. I need air. Okay, that doesn't work. So, rock. Oops. Okay, that was the last one. Wait, there's really not a mini boss in this dungeon? This one felt shorter. It's kind of funny because it felt like the game wanted you to do the Gerudo temple first, but that dungeon felt harder to me. And I can't really break those. That dungeon felt harder to me uh, even though it was the one that it seemed like they wanted us to do first. Also, I'm glad that I did that one first, just because I... I think having the air, the bow and arrow for this dungeon does actually help a lot, so... I still think that I would do it in that order again, but... Definitely the difficulty of the two seem to be reversed. Woo! Okay, let's see if we have any goodies. I've got a full meter. I guess we're going in. Oh, I guess let me... Should I check the map? Alright, it looks like we did it all. That's what I like to see. Very satisfying. Hmm, I'm trying to think. It wasn't the water temple that you jumped down a giant hole, though. It was... I'm just thinking back in Ocarina of Time. In Dodongo's Cavern you do, though. Multiples you do. I'm pretty sure in Shadow Temple you do as well. Okay, what is this guy called? Well, guys, the Vakavor. The Vakavor? Okay. Um. Now let me think about. Let me. I know I just did this on stream. But I forgot. Already. This is just an avoidance. Okay, now he's 
And his weak point is up top. Let me get... Mm, shark? <laughs> Honestly, crab? <laughs> uh, really, though, shark. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, spawn. Because they do attack right out the gate. Oh, that could've been... Oh, no, 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 no! Yeah, I'm gonna conserve that energy bar. More tornadoes. From the side view, he looks kind of like a sad fish. Wow, they're... They're really giving us lots of hearts. Now this is the part I might want sword fighter. Oh, but I can't. Hmm, you know what? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. Mostly because my, my plan was going to be to stand on him, but I guess I can't do that. Whoa, okay. Oh, now he's upside down. Oh, this is why I wanted the sword fighter. I was like, I know there was a reason. Whoa, wrong button. But actually, I think he's back, so. <laughs> His little... Wait, are those feet or wings? I don't know. Bokavore? Ooh, what was that tune? That was like some... Well, that was like some Calamity Ganon kind of music, wasn't it? Ouch. We'll just sneak right under that. Up, Zelda. Give me the hearts. Oh! That was it! Uh, mm, uh, between the mole... Between the mole and the fish... I think I did find the mole to be more interesting, but difficulty-wise, I feel like they were about the same. There's all the baby tries. Baby tries. Go heal this place. That was fast. We did that whole temple in like 20 minutes. 25. And there's Lord Jabu Jabu. <laughs> Still angry. <laughs> I love that he looks just like, just like in the old game. All right, tell me, try. Friends shared some of their power with me. Now we're up to a four. And uh, more like four and three fourths. I feel like I can do even more now. Okay, now this is really cool. So basically, some of the um, echoes now cost less than they used to. So uh, don't care about that spear moblin. The Gibdos, though, the Dark Nut, the Bombfish, the... What else do I use a lot? I don't feel like I really use any of the rest of those guys very often, but yeah. And some crystals. We got five. I don't remember what our next upgrade number is. I'll have to check with Lewberry. I heard something from my friends while mending the rift. They told me that this was the largest rift they've ever mended. None of us realized that rifts could get big like this if we're unable to do our job. It's hard to say what would have happened if you hadn't defeated that monster, Zelda. Tri's theme is so pretty. There's not really anything else to do in the still world for now. Let's go back to your world. Jabul Waters. Rift. Quest updated. We got another heart. How many does that make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it looks like. All right, 
right, let's get out of here. Never to return again. Now, actually, this cutscene coming up is lots of, lots of fun. This is maybe probably one of my favorite ones yet. Zelda's back! You're amazing! You got rid of all the rips! What about Lord Jebu Jebu? Safe and sound. The big fish that was in the still world. With the rift gone, I'm sure he's fully back to normal. Aww. Really? At long last. Thank you, Zelda. Mm. You know, Drad... Wait, you know, Drad and I are more alike than not. We're close in age. We care for our villages. Yet we squabble and maybe we're far too similar. So we argue over the littlest details. We've done this for ages. Mm. Yeah, but now we know that the River Zora and Sea Zora can get more done together. Or, huh, maybe what we really learned is that we got too hot for this squabble. <laughs> you two are good friends, usually. <laughs> Drad's face. <laughs> We're not! Shut your gills, Inawa. Inawa's colors are pretty interesting. Looks like a little toy. Allow us to express our gratitude. We owe you a great deal. Very grateful. Okay, what now? Ooh. Chief Kushara, Chief Drad, Lord Jebu Jebu returned to the Crossfoes Plaza. Yeah. Let's go, Zelda. It's time to celebrate. That's the least we can do to thank you. Is it the least they could do? It is the actual least they could do, I guess. Not the most they could do. <laughs> Look, oh, and I love that Zelda puts her hood down for this, too. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Nice little band. <laughs> Look at Zelda. Oh my gosh. I think the best part is just how happy Zelda looks. Very good. Much better than the first time. <laughs> What does that mean? Is he happy or not? Well, Drad's happy. <laughs> if Jabba Jab is not Drad is, I don't know. Very cute. I don't know, I just like the little concert. It was nice to hear the Zora play their music. I could have listened to that all day. What a perfect way. Oh, I don't know why reading text makes me yawn. What is the deal? The perfect way for the chiefs to make up after all this. Right, Zelda? Where am I? Oh, right. You there, I need directions. Sorry, not my best manners. My name is Wright, General for the Kingdom of Hyrule. I found myself out at sea after regaining my senses and heard the music coming from here. Do you know the way to Hyrule Cass? Hmm, you... You look... Like, look a little like, it can't be. <laughs> it's you, princess. I'd have never guessed they'd meet you here of all places. Just imagine, here in Jabul Waters. Now what in the world has been going on? That's a long story. I can't believe all that, hap all that happened while I was gone. So Minister Left is at this Lewberry person's home right now? Then my first order of business is speaking with Minister Left. Immediately. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of those, um, some of the characters in uh, Clash of Clans. Where does that leave us? We took care of the rift, but didn't find your father. Zelda, maybe it's a good idea for us to head to Lewberry's house, too. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. After staying put so long, I've really gotten to know the Seizora guy. Hi. Our friendship began when we were scared for our villages and calmed each other. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I've been here with this River Zora fella since the moment when things got really bad. 
I never talked to a Caesar this much before. <laughs> Same here. What a memory you and I will always share of this strange time. Yeah, always. Never mind me. Just a bit of sand in my eye, that's all. <laughs> Still missing? So... Didn't really gain any new abilities in there. Um... Trying to think. When you leave a dungeon, usually there's like... Kind of an opening to do more... Well, to reach areas that you weren't able to reach before, but not really in this case, because all we got was a, um... A reduction in some of our echoes. So... This guy's cute. I can get out on the water again. Can't wait to head to my sea... To sea on my boat. Nothing more relaxing. And I guess, let me check with the, um, the two villages and just see if there's any additional quests that have popped up. Oh, I'm full. Full hearts. Also, wasn't the, um, wasn't the acorn guy somewhere around here, too? How do I get up? I, f I do find this place a bit hard to navigate sometimes. These guys probably go up waterfalls and... Oh, here we go. Let's go this way. Yeah, the music here is just so calming. So this is the den. Probably nothing in there. Rupee, let me just hop across these little lily pads. Ignoring everything on the way. I can't remember if I went and checked this after the last time I was here or not. So, no side quests here. Because after... Oh, here we go. My mom's being weird. She's staring at the pool in our house, talking to herself something about monsters. She's going to feed me to the monsters! Wait, no, that isn't it. Still, I'm sure she's very disappointed with me. I can't swim yet. I'm just too scared. Please, you've got to help me. Could you check on my mom? Zora Child's fate. Well, check on your mom. Is this his mom? Yeah. Oh, it's Zelda, right? I heard that you rescued those who got caught in the rifts. Maybe you'll help me with a personal matter. Could you bring me some monsters? I'm going to try to use them for something. First, I need a monster that looks like a sinister fish. Okay. Sinister fish. Is that... Not what she wanted, apparently? A sinister fish? Oh, um, you know what? This angler fish is pretty sinister, I'd say. Exactly the sinister looking fish I want. Hang on for a moment. Clonk. That was tough enough for... This was tough enough for the job, but it's not getting very shiny. Thanks for the monster. It helped me learn more about what I need to know. Bring me a monster that goes boom. Okay. Bombfish? Okay. What is she doing? It's not getting it dazzling? It does have a fine shine. Looking better. What does she want next? Shocking jellyfish. Jelly jelly. Floats pretty well. Shifting colors. Maybe she's making something. Surprised she didn't want the shark. Turned out well. <laughs> she's not going to feed her child to the monsters, I guess. Medaka, Mom, I'm not monster food. <laughs> Medaka, please just hold out your hand. A scale. One polished using a legendary technique known only to the Zora. With this scale, you'll be able to swim. I know you're worried about not being able to swim, so I made you a special charm. You made this for me? 
A scale! Wow. Alright, let's see it. <laughs> That's cute. I always knew you could. Swimming is fun. Thanks, Mom. I would like to see the scale. Thank you for helping. I can't begin to say how much this meant to us. I'd like to thank you by giving you the same charm. Oh! Well, wish granted. We got a Zora scale. Made with secret Zora methods enables the wearer to hold their breath for longer underwater. I needed each one of those monsters so I could research ways to polish scales. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Nice! Okay. So that's another item for the equipment slot. Which... Hmm, I'm, those would be... These two would be a pretty good combo. Let me just go... I think we should go check with the, um, the River Zora quickly and see... If there's any side quests... It didn't seem like they had so much of a village down there, though, as it was just, like, a palace, I guess, if that's what you would call it. Because I didn't really see, like, homes. Mm, you know what? Should I have checked on the chief while we were up here? I know I'm, like, overusing this spin, but... It just feels like Zelda's so slow otherwise. Hold on, let me just go back. I really only checked, like, these two houses. Oh, well, four, maybe. Let me go this way. Too bad for that guy. We don't get to help him rebuild his house. Yep. Or, heck, I don't know. Maybe we do later. Hmm. Where do I go from here? Where's the... Oh, the chief is over there. Hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah, the layout of this area is kind of confusing to me. Oh, well. Kushara and I always get into some big arguments over nothing, but I hope we can put that behind us. We made up this time with your help, Zelda. It shouldn't have come to that, though. Okay. Okay, well, how about... Let's go find the... Oh, sorry. I think I called these guys River Zora a minute ago. I meant Sea Zora. Let's go see if they have anything going on down here. And then I want to go see Blueberry. All right. Um. Any any side quests for me? Yeah. There's like nobody around here. Nobody just like hanging around. Oh, here we go. Monsters around the sea, the people of the seaside village, but the real difficulty is finding just the right thing to put my treasure in. You heard all that, didn't you? I'm trying to work out a solution for something. I may as well fill you in. I want to store my treasure safely and securely. It's just a collection of shells and rocks I found while swimming, but it's treasure to me. I'm quite proud of my collection, but I don't have room for it all, so I need to find something I can store it in. That said, I've had no luck so far. It has to be just right for my storing needs. Okay, it's not much. It has to be able to store my collection securely inside it. That means even underwater. I don't want the contents to spill out. I don't want other Zora to know about my treasure. Hmm. Precious treasure. I don't know if I have anything. I'm thinking like a chest, but I can't echo a chest. I know what it looks like, but the truth is that I've always tried to have good relations with Drad, but it seems to find I seem to find myself off kilter when I'm actually around him. I'm learning that I have much to learn. That's always good to keep in mind, I suppose. Very good. Very good. Okay, so... Like I said, he's waiting outside for me. (sighs) 
Tornado Ghost, Precious Child, Cur Precious Treasure, Curious Child. Oh, yeah. Oh, here he is. So, let me just l take a look real quick. Let's see. Water block? Oh, a jar? Probably not. Um, a crate. Oh, okay. Wow, that was easy. I fear that I'm being fussy, but it doesn't feel special enough for my treasure. What? Honey pot? <laughs> uh, he's not gonna like it. Without a lid, it wouldn't be useful underwater. I'm feeling like I probably don't have what he wants. Doesn't even acknowledge my water block. Yeah, and these are all just monsters. I guess I don't have what he wants. Okay. Well, I think let's go down to Blueberries. Wow, look at how much of the map I still don't have filled in. Blueberry, Blueberry. Blueberry, Blueberry. Why is his name Blueberry? This is like an odd name. I guess. Well, I think some of those. Uh, what are they called? What are they called? The uh, Chica sometimes do have names that are representative of fruit, except for Impa. I don't think that sounds like a fruit to me. Okay, welcome back, princess. I imagine you've got a lot to catch me up on. Go on then. Despite mopping up those rifts, there's still no sign of the king or Link. Alas, my king, where could you be? Your persistence has paid off, princess. Thank you for taking care of those rifts. That leaves but one large rift, the one located in Hyrule Castle. Ah, uh, right. But the one that took these two, as well as his majesty, our magnanimous king is in a rift even now. And while we stand here yammering away, those frauds are waltzing around in the castle. General Wright, calm yourself. Princess, Mr. Lewberry, Minister Left. As Hyrule's general, I cannot stand idly by. What is it you intend to do then? Take action, obviously. I'm going to expose the true identities of those imposters tainting our beloved castle. <laughs> that man. General Wright, for the love of... Hylia. Yeesh, we weren't even done talking. That guy can't sit still for long, can he? Well, back to it. You mentioned you have yet to find Link. I hope he's all right. So I'm guessing you'll head to the castle too then. Those fakes are after your head, princess. So please proceed with the utmost caution. So I need 10 to do the bow. All right, well, it sounds like the next stop is the castle. So, which we've actually been to the castle. It's pretty much straight north. Still missing. We've got a little rift, a little rift. I'm very curious about the rest of this map, but I am going to wait to explore much more of the map until um, we go to the castle. I don't think I've left anything around in this area. Unexplored, I feel like I looked around here pretty thoroughly. But there's still so much. Well, look at that. <laughs> As I was saying. <laughs> Some honey jars. Oh, my hearts are full. I guess I don't need that. I'm just going to make my way up to the castle. And then uh, next episode, we'll probably spend... Uh, yeah, here we are. So I feel like this is probably a good place for us to stop. And the next episode, we'll go on in and, um, see what happens. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like or subscribe if you're new here for more gameplay videos just like this one. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. I'm live on YouTube every Saturday, so stop by sometime and say hi. Can't wait to see you there.